All right, so I listed my truck for sale a couple days ago, thinking it's going to take a while to sell, not have another car lined up. Well, this morning, guy comes, takes a look at it, says, I'll be back in a few hours with a check. So, as promised, he shows up with a check, takes the truck. Well, that's fine. Great. Sold my car. However, I don't have another one. So, until I find what I'm going to drive next, here's my only mode of transportation. So when you're a 37-year-old bachelor who lives home, doesn't know how to cook, and now no longer has a primary means of transportation, what do you do for dinner? Well, you take your golf cart to the clubhouse, hope the kitchen's still open. Now, I want to make a quick video today because this is Thursday, June the 11th, and we went into absolutely meltdown mode in the stock market. If you watch the indexes today, you know, we opened up the SP down about 100 points, stayed flat for about the first hour or so. I was trading with a lot of our uh, students who were doing the day trading course with us, and then it just absolutely melted down. I mean, the Dow finished down like six and a half percent, five or six percent down from the S&P and the NASDAQ, just absolute pandemonium uh, across the market. So, obviously, I'm not here tonight to make a video to you and brag about how much we made in the market because everything is down today, with the exception of maybe a couple of gun stocks. Every equity out there took a hit today. They're all down big, and the small caps we trade in took some really big swings. But you have to be able to weather these type of events. And no matter how good you are, I don't care if you're Warren Buffett or George Soros, no one can tell you when the big down days are coming or when the big up days are coming. That's why what you have to do is have excellent trade management. And what I mean by that is you got to know when to sell. Okay. Now, you'll never sell the top. You'll never buy the bottom. What you can do is sell into strength and buy into weakness. That's what we've been doing. You know, I posted a video a couple days ago showing the gains we took down, you know, 70%, 150%, 230% in our options. We had stocks we took half or two-thirds off at it, 100% uh, gain, 200-something percent gain, 30% gains. Because when you get big surges higher like that, you need to take profits. If all you're using are stop losses, meaning you're setting a place where if it goes down this much, I'll sell, guess what? You're always going to have times where you get out of the bottom, but you're never going to get out of the top. And the only way to beat that is to piece by piece, take profits, sell pieces of your position as it surges higher and raise your stop accordingly. So for example, we got a couple of stocks, May 29th, we bought three different names and they were all up in the first week we could have. These are insider trades. They were all up you know, 18%, 25, 30, 35%, some in that range. So we sold half our positions. We raised our stop to break even or above that. And then now, if we get another down day Friday, this market continues to sell off, that's okay. We'll exit the other half and either break even or a small profit. So maybe we only end up making 10, 12% on these stocks. Guess what? We were only in them for two weeks. Everyone else is taking heavy losses, and we're walking away in cash with no exposure with profitable positions. So that's why I encourage people to always take profits on the way up. Uh, whether you're trading stocks, you're trading futures, you're trading options, if you have big open gains, you're never going to sell the whole position. But take some off, sell half, sell a third, sell two thirds, book some profits, reduce your exposure. Um, yes, it's going to limit the times that you can build up a huge position and it you know runs four or five hundred percent you've got it all you made a monster amount of money but your job as a trader is all about two things and that's risk and reward and so if you're up 30 40 50 percent in a stock or 100 200 percent an option in a couple of weeks that's a hell of a good return so what if it goes further sell half of it leave a runner as the saying goes you never go broke taking profits and today, and what we saw in February and March are great examples of that. I always am going to lean to taking profits, putting money in my pocket, reducing my exposure, raising my stop, than I am to pressing and pressing and pressing. Because for everybody out there who let it all ride and made a really big win, there's a hundred other people who got whacked on the way down.